All right, so I finally finished my face makeup. Let's get into the eyes. So what do I want to do for the eyes? Hmm. Maybe I'll use a bronze primer today. Hmm. How about my Maybelline color tattoo? Wait. I thought it was right here. Where did it go? Siri, search for Maybelline color tattoo prices. Five twenty nine. That's not too bad. Let me go check and see how much money I have in my wallet. I'm broke. DIY Maybelline color tattoo. Okay, I found this on the web for DIY Maybelline color tattoo. <laughs> So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this really, really cool Maybelline color tattoo inspired eye primer thing. I just It's basically the same thing as Maybelline color tattoo. It just really depends on how you make it. But I wanted to come on here and say really quick that you want a parent's permission before you try to use the stove because this DIY requires you to use a stove top and I don't want any of you guys getting in trouble for that. And also, this stuff works awesome. I'm using it on my eyes right now. I've been wearing it the last couple days and it's it holds up very nicely and it looks really good with another shadow on top of it, which is what I am doing. Um, I wanted to tell you guys that I worked super hard on editing this video and I know I kind of say that a lot, but I really do work hard on my editing so I hope you guys really appreciate it. And if you do, make sure you subscribe or thumbs up this video or, you know, just do whatever you want. Comment some down below stuff, you know, you know, swag money. Um, let's do a piece on okay. Well, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the video before I ruin it with my awkwardness. So. So for this DIY, you're going to need an empty container, you're going to need a mixing tool of some sort, I recommend a toothpick or a spoon, you're going to need an old eyeshadow, any color, doesn't really matter. Um, you're also going to need eyelid primer, eyeshadow primer, or Vaseline. I recommend eyeshadow primer instead of Vaseline because sometimes the Vaseline can be kind of oily, and if you have oily eyelids, it's not really good to do that. And you're also going to need access to a stove top, a small pot, a small glass bowl, and some water. So the first thing you want to do is just find your eyeshadow that you want to pot and just scrape that eyeshadow into a small glass container, into little pink. You also want to make sure that there's no chunks in this eyeshadow and that it is as broken up and smooth as possible. You and me are on a single. added in your eyelid primer and Vaseline. You want to mix it all together so it'll make the melting process a little easier. So the next step is to melt your mixture into a liquid so it's easier to pour into your container. So how I did this is I filled up a small pot with water and I put that on the stove on low heat for about five minutes and after that five minutes is that I'm better under your reflection. So next you want to very carefully take your glass bowl out of the pot and I used some tongs to do this just so I didn't burn my hands but you can use like an oven mitt or something like that and then after you take it out you just want to let it like sit down on something like a cork or something where it won't burn your counter and just pour that into your small container. And once it's in your container you just want to put that in the freezer for about 15 to 30 minutes. Oh, I, you came where did I So after that, you're pretty much done, but if you want to do something a little extra special, you can make your own label for your color tattoo. So what I did is I just took a piece of paper and I traced the top of the little container and I made a circle and I cut it out and then I wrote the title on it and I called this bold and bronze because it was a nice bold bronze color. I was walking with the ghost. 